So in our last video, we talked a lot about just like what is statistics, giving us an overview, how we how statistics is all about experiments, answering questions, gathering data, organizing our data, analyzing the data, and communicating. And as you notice, I said the word data a whole bunch. So like our first question should be, well, okay, what exactly is data? And data is, is basically any um, measurement or observation uh, that you are interested in. And as you go out and collect a lot of samples and you, you gather all of these measurements or observations, that becomes your data. And with that data, we can learn a lot uh, about the world around us, and especially with things that, that weren't so clear to begin with. Okay, so our data can be broken down into two main types. We have categorical and we have numerical. It's nice, the words do a lot of, uh, of the descriptions here. Categorical, we can think about categories of our data. So this is, this is things that aren't ex uh, expressly measured. We haven't gone out and put a ruler down. We haven't used a stopwatch, but rather these are things uh, where we can talk about like colors. We can talk about names of football teams. Those are categories. Now, numerical data is actually measured data, where we go and measure the temperature, the speed, the weight, where there is a numerical value uh, that we have gone out and measured. Now, categorical data can be further broken down into two parts. We can talk about nominal, nominal data, and we can talk about ordinal. Okay, so nominal data is data that is categories, so we've got labels of things, and it doesn't have any real set order. So we could look at things like color, we could look at things like names, uh, we could look at things like models of a car, or where we can rearrange the data uh, without losing uh, a lot of the uh, we, can, we can rearrange the data without lose, losing meaning. Now, ordinal is a little different. It's categorical data that actually has a, um, a set order. And things like this, we can do grades. Uh, we could do like months. So these are things that have a natural order to them. Uh, that, that we're going to put them in, but they don't necessarily have like a fixed uh, measurement. Uh, so those are two different types of categorical data that kind of break down there. Now let's look at numerical. So we've got a couple options here as well. We have interval. All right, so interval data is data where we have um, a specific distance uh, between two points, but there's not really a set zero point. So one example could be like temperature. And another one that we could use is like date. Okay, so these ones don't have like a fixed zero point. Uh, and we can, we can kind of see some of this by if we try to do division. If division doesn't make sense here, then it, uh, it probably is a good indication that we don't have interval data. So let's look at an example real quick. So let's ask ourselves, is 100 degrees Fahrenheit two times as hot as... 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, what do you think? The answer, as it turns out to be, is no. And the kicker here is because the zero point for this scale is kind of arbitrarily set. Uh, it's set at basically, you know, 32 degrees less uh, than the freezing point of water 
Like it's, it's kind of arbitrary. Now we could change temperature to B, our next set ratio, if we use like a Rankine scale or a Kelvin scale where absolute zero is, there is no heat at all. And then we can talk about how this is twice as much. Same thing as date, like is the year 1000 half as much time as the year 2000? And the answer is, well, not, not really because the time goes way further back than just where we have it arbitrarily set at zero right now. Okay, so, but ratio is, it's, so it's numerical where there are specific set distances between and there is a fixed zero point. So we could say things like weight, weight and speed. Those are both good examples of ratio data. All right, so let's do a quick breakdown real quick. So we have different types of data that we can be talking about. We can talk about categorical data and we can talk about numerical data. Categorical data can break down into two kind of subsets. We have nominal where there's no real order uh, in the categories, but ordinal there is some order that makes sense for the categories that we have established. And then when we look at numerical, we've got once again two types as well. We've got interval and we've got ratio. Interval, there are set, um, set distances between measurements, but there isn't a, like a logical zero point or a natural zero point. Ratio, there is a zero point, a, a reasonable one, and there is set distances between. The easiest way to tell the difference between the two is if we divide if we divide one answer by the other, um, or if, if we take like a temperature, we divide it by two and we ask here, is it twice as hot? This doesn't make sense and that's a good indication that we do not have interval data. But if we can do division, we know that the ratio data actually makes sense.